Well, we got a little more work to do on it. This is the a new carburetor, not the one I just ordered, but this is one I had. This is a bigger one. The first one was a PZ26. This one is a PZ30. And I think there is my problem right there. I think I have a vacuum leak because it's not sealing properly. That means I'm going to take the uh, carburetor back off and probably take the manifold off and modify the manifold to make it bigger so that seal will seal in there. Yep. Guess that's what I gotta do. Um, I'll take you around the back and show you something else we got done. We have our horn all restored. I was able to save the chrome on the engine part but not on the other part so I had to paint that and I did save the chrome right around the ring on the bell. The rest of it I, I had to sandblast because it, it would, the pitting was so bad on it. And what I did is I cleaned the uh, engine part and uh, with steel wool, real fine steel wool, and then I clear coated it. So let me uh, let me give you a, a demonstration of how it sounds. It's definitely loud enough, so you'll be able to hear it coming, eh? And I can demonstrate for you too while I get you back here. I'll turn the lights on. And you can see that we have a tail light up here. And now you watch when I step on the brake pedal. Yep, we got brake lights there. So we're good to go back there. Better turn the lights off, save the battery. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm glad that the uh, carburetor came in. I have a problem with it picking up the prime, and it might be because of that vacuum leak. But even with the uh, and and that could be the problem all along. Uh, with the original carburetor with that uh, fuel mixture adjustment screw missing out of it um, that was sucking a lot of air in there which would have made it hard for it to suck in fuel so uh, yeah a little more work to do but we're working at it and let me take you around the side here and I told you that I was going to do something to fill in that hole well I just happen to have see if I can find it here I just happen to have this old Pepsi Cola bottle opener so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it right here I like them out it was pretty grungy and uh, you can see that the top flange is broken on it and uh, I cleaned it up pretty good and then I re-lettered or repainted the lettering on it to make it brighter and uh, you can see right there yeah made in the USA so uh, yeah, we'll get that mounted up under there. And that'll cover that hole and give us a little more of a conversation piece, don't you know? Yep. So, this is only Saturday. I didn't expect to get this much done today. I didn't expect to have my carburetor here today. But we got it. 
and that didn't matter because I didn't use the carburetor that I got anyway because the carburetor gut was a little bit different and I would have had to completely modify my choke setup and so I already had this PZ30 that I had bought for another application at one time and uh, yeah so it'll be like going from a two-barrel carburetor up to a four-barrel carburetor like I said the original one that I had on here was the PZ26 or 24 one or the other this one's a PZ30 and even the uh, 24 was quite a bit larger than the original carburetor that was on here uh, when this was a snowblower probably would have been 18 or 16 millimeter opening on that that's where we're at and uh, I gotta keep working at it gotta keep working at it you know gotta keep working at it whoa back up there Jack yeah so until next time, this is George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, saying thanks for watching, for commenting, for subscribing, for thumbs up, for sharing, for all of those great things. And uh, hopefully Monday or Tuesday, I'll get this manifold straightened out. I can't work on it right now because the exhaust is hot. And uh, yeah, we'll wait for it to cool down. I might get the carburetor off yet today. And I still got to anchor in my exhaust too. Thanks again for watching. Bye now. Here's looking at you kid. Oh yeah.